We all comprise River Wireless from Asheville, North Carolina. <laughs> I'm Alex McWalters, the drummer. I'm Ryan O'Keefe, guitar. I'm Hallie Anderson, violin. Daniel Shearer. Great. <laughs> you guys, uh, cool. We seem to have developed a habit of uh, retreating when it comes time to write music. Um, it partly because we love to do that. We love to sort of uh, eat, sleep, and breathe music for you know hours and days. At, weeks at a time, whatever, but it's also just easier to focus that way, living in Asheville together and uh, having friends and all the other sorts of things that you have in your home, it's harder to, to focus long periods of time. And so we, sit, we sort of get on a roll when we're away, so we've always tried to do that and it, it, it worked just as well as it always has when we went to Maine to do the, the most recent record. So we were kind of trying to come up with just a creative way to make some percussion happen that also maybe was like just a little fun and a little off the, the beaten path. And Alex has a bunch of old typewriters. I collect old He collects them. So. so Bob, before we <coughs> before we played, he gave me a sheet of NPR header, header paper to type away. But it said, I think it just says F and A about a thousand <laughs> times. <laughs> fa, 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 fa. <laughs> I would say Hallie would probably win the dance off. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see it. No, Hallie would win. Yeah, that's you, gonna, you want to challenge? Every, everything I know about What's dancing I learned from Hallie, so I can't really take credit for any of that. This means we're all terrible dancers, <laughs> <laughs> just for the record. Yeah. We were at uh, Newport Folk Festival last summer and had a lot of concert moments like that where you know we're just like backstage watching Graham Nash or something or um, like singing a song with LaVon Helm's daughter Amy Helm or uh, Ryan Adams walking Ryan into the Adams. green room and yeah, yeah, played yeah. a song. All these, like, mo all these people that I've like loved for a long time we kind of um, basically got to collaborate with them. That broken social scene concert. I was just about to say that. at the Orange Peel yeah. back in college was. That was. We were in college, yeah. Yeah, we were in Somewhat college. Somewhat of a religious religious experience that one. Uh, that was done right. Yeah. Concert done right. It's like one of those shows when you're at the right age. Like you know, we were in college, we we're maybe 19 or 20 years old, and had just been I had just been listening obsessively to, to broken social scene, and so it was just oh, and we drove from Boone down to Asheville to see the show. It's like we were just really excited, uh, and they just killed it. Just. Yeah were amazing. So it was one of those really special moments when you just, you're totally absorbed in a band and then you go see them play live and they're just like these gods on stage and they're just playing every song you want to hear and it was just, you just walked away being like, that was amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fortunate Son, we were kind of just talking about, um, you know, a new, a new song to play on tour and I think somebody was playing it, you know, acoustically or something like that. And, this was during the whole election cycle before the, before he was actually elected. And then the video just started to make sense. I mean, we knew that some of us were going to Washington and um, some people were going to be in Asheville and some people were in Oregon. And, um, you know, we just started thinking that we should document this. When she was in her mid-twenties, she had a band with a bunch of guys. She was the only female. And uh, she taught me how to sing harmony. The whole family, her side of the family is very musical. And and uh, I think she sort of helped me to break out of my shell, uh, the shell that was tied to music on a piece of paper, if that is. Uh, bourbon. bourbon. <laughs> was it alcoholic or non-alcoholic? Uh, Whatever you want. Oh gosh! I don't know. I, I, we can't <laughs> yeah. do this spitball fast thing. So I'll sit and go through all. No, you just gotta. What's first? Yeah. Water. Go. Water. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Sensible. Bourbon for me. Bourbon. Okay. Uh, 
Dan has a history. Not of me. I've had like he two terrible hangovers in the last five years, but they're they're pretty terrible. Yeah. 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 I don't get them much, but when I do, it's I'm pretty flat. He's laid Those were out. Earned. Those were. <laughs> it was his birthday, and we had the, one of them in particular, I remember, we were in Wyoming in Laramie, and which is at eight thousand feet. And we just started drinking because our van had broken down uh, about 400 miles west of there on his birthday. <laughs> and so he had just like a crappy birthday, like riding in a van going 40 miles an hour through Wyoming. No one remembered. No one remembered oh, until oh, it was like oh, 8 o'clock at night. And then, uh, and then so the next day we were like, well, we just have to go ahead and make up for get Dan right? good and yeah. drunk. Well, little do we know, <laughs> we know now that when you're at 8,000 feet... One drink goes as far, or two, yeah, one drink goes as far as two drinks normally would, so Dan was, uh, he didn't eat the next day, which is unheard of, because Dan can eat a lot of food, so uh, it, was, it was very, <laughs> with bacon there. in front of his nose and nothing was happening. Hmm. I got that <clears throat> the other Thrift day. Stores. Thrift store. Thrift oh. store. Um, <laughs> Drinking, <laughs> scanning Craigslist for okay. musical instruments. <laughs> Craigslist. Oh, yeah. I was curious how the second half of that sentence was gonna go. Oh. <laughs> Misconnections. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think the life should be as much uh, the way you want it to be as possible, and I think that's what we're trying to convey in with things like Fortunate Son, and you know. Uh, capturing the protests in Washington and all that sort of thing. I, don't, I think the point is not to... I mean, we, we all have our ideas about how we want to live and how life should be, and the point is that we should be able to uh, pursue that. This is a song called Life Crisis um, that we wrote a while ago. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> But if 
Thank you. Thank you. Now, do you want to so? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. Uh, I couldn't possibly list all the things I've banged on over the years. <laughs>